Hey folks, so slightly different video for you today. Uh, we were originally going to record a, uh, a podcast with uh, Drew and Hamish, but Drew became very selfish and decided to have a toothache at the last minute. So uh, in spite of that, I'm going to be playing a round of uh, Flat Out 2. I mean, in all seriousness, uh, me, and, me and Drew have been playing around with this game for quite a while now. I've been meaning to do a video about it. So I've basically unlocked most if not every achievement here so i can actually show you on the um on the career mode um i am driving the bullet gt you unlock that by getting uh let's see i can show you in this level you get all all golds here no all silvers maybe i don't know if you get a recent standard as you can see i've unlocked all silvers here i haven't done like the special events as you can see below uh they're just kind of too difficult but kind of a bit weird for me um, you've got three types of races in the career mode. You've got like a derby, which is like rough cars. You've got race, which is like sort of middling cars, I guess. They're like a bit faster. Um, and then you've got street cars, which is like not quite as robust, but they're a lot faster. And then this is like the grand final. So I'm going to play a little bit of, let's see, uh, street rumble... Uh, the special street circuits, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I want to play one with a bit more variety. Now, I'm with the Bullet GT, so that means that I am... Uh, that's like a street car more over anything else. Uh, what was I playing a second ago that's quite good? Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this one. All right, I'll do this one. This one is... This will get me... If I get first place in this, I'll get 4,400 credits. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll I'll have a go on that. Right, I'm probably not going to be playing uh, talking uh, too much uh, on on this game because uh, it is rather quite intense. Um, I think I might have to maybe move my picture over a little bit in order to sort of there you go. I'm going to be a little bit smaller for the the old reaction cam. Uh, but I want you to get a good view, a view of the action, right? And I'm also going to be like sitting here, like all sort of intense looking and everything. Um, I'm going to probably be making some silly faces. So I, I probably don't want too big of a screen for that, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, okay, right. And I do apologize. This is probably, this is like a last minute kind of video affair. And um, I don't know if I'll be doing that much more commentating, but a lot, of, like in reality, this video is, is actually kind of for Drew. Uh, I kind of want to show off how good I am at this game now. It's been a while. So uh let's see all right we're going to start off with the canal then we go down to i think it's a street track a race track off-road track and then finish up with another race track okay all right street wreck cut let's go i hope this microphone isn't going to interfere with me and i think the sound level should kind of be okay i usually play this game at a relatively low sound rate sound volume rather okay and there we go like i've, I've pulled out ahead right from the beginning it ain't going to be that easy all the way through. I ain't that good just yet. So this is the Bullet GT. Yeah, you get it from unlocking a whole bunch of stuff. Smash, mash. Oh, there's something trapped under my car. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, this fish, this sort of bow, ox bow. It's kind of difficult. Not ox bow, just a bow. And then we'll take a sharp turning here. So this is like a, a like the ultimate muscle car of the game. It's rear wheel drive, very powerful, fastest acceleration, fastest speed in the game. Uh, and it's relatively heavy, and that matters a lot because all this debris, and you'll see more debris as I go around, is absolutely going to get in the way. And it's going to absolutely... So like the heavier the car, the less likely you are to be like screwed by the debris. Mmm, that was nasty. Okay, so this game has a nitro, which I can... I can add there. Right. I want to reduce the acceleration on this bit. Oh. And there we go. That's almost a perfect handling of that corner. That's very difficult, though. Okay. And also, I welcome any and all advice. Oh, no, 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 no. I got lost in the car park. Damn it. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, reset. Okay, I'm fifth. I have no idea. Like, I'm planning to come first in this cup. But recording it and commentating at the same time is gonna is gonna is gonna give me a performance hit. 
of some variety. How bad it is, we'll find out. Now, full disclosure, I can't consistently get first in this cup in every race anyway. So I'm not, not necessarily making excuses. But really, I'm just here to show off this kind of game. Like, I mean, it goes on sale a fair bit. You can get it for like a couple of quid on a Steam sale. And there is like a, an autumn sale coming up, or if not that, the winter sale, which is always a cracking sale. And you can probably get this for a couple of quid. It's it's Drew's favourite racing game, and I think it's it has become mine. It's got the right balance between like feeling like real cars and with a little bit of arcadiness, because you know some games go too arcadey, some games go too realistic, as it were. Uh, this is a nice, nice middle balance, and I've got to be honest, this is kind of smooth, kind of smooth. And this, and also one thing about this, it's kind of cool. So you may notice if, you, especially if you look down at the. Uh, uh, the mini map. You look down at the mini map. Uh, you will notice that there are several routes, and I am taking what I perceive to be the most optimal route for this car. Now, I have another car that I use, and I will be using that as well. But I'll be using that on the off-road because the off-road. This is just. I'm. I. I mean. It's just. It's. Oh my word. Oh, finish. There we go. That's a good time. 44 seconds. 44 seconds. So, there we go. Uh, yeah, but I have a I have a canyon uh, that I will be using for the off-road one in this uh, in this segment. And there we go. I've just hit exactly 100. Th is that 100,000? Uh, yeah. I think yes, 100,000. So I don't know what I'll be doing with that money. There we go. So Sally Taylor and Sophia Martinez are the ones I got to look up for. Uh, Jack Benton, hmm, down at the bottom, isn't usually down at the bottom. They are quite aggressive. They're like the high risk, high reward kind of person. Yeah, all of these names, what I quite like about the game, they all have their own cars. They all have their own personalities and styles of driving. And that pans out differently depending on every single um, track or more specifically, every single style of track. You know, some people are driving front wheel, rear wheel, four wheel drive. Okay. So you get Nitro from bumping other cars, uh, smashing up debris, and uh, jumps. Now, I'm not going to be doing too many jumps in this. Like, the canyon's very good for jumps. Okay. Here we go. But this, whilst it's heavy and it's not bad on a lot of jumps... Uh, this car doesn't need the nitro. Like, it doesn't need the extra speed. Speed is not what is holding this car back. In fact, with rear-wheel drive cars in real life as well as this game, you get oversteer, which is an issue. And with the front-wheel drive cars, you get understeer. And with the four-wheel drives, you get basically a very controllable vehicle. Uh, you... In, I mean, in the real world, as I understand it, with four-wheel drive, you sacrifice... Um, uh, fuel efficiency. Uh, I think there's weight. There's also weight, a weight issue with four-wheel drives, as is there with uh, rear-wheel drives. I think there's like extra drive shafts and stuff. Uh, I see. I know all the technical terms there. And um, and front-wheel drives, as I understand it, they have the the real advantage in terms of being cheaper uh, because. You know, all the all the mechanics and stuff is just like right there on the front two wheels, engine and everything. So, uh, so that works works out. Uh, the front wheel drive cars aren't terrible, but they the understeer is frustrating, um, and also it leaves you vulnerable to knocks from behind. Whereas, oh my word, I made the exact same mistake as Jack Benton right ahead of me. Okay. All right, laps two out of three. It'd be nice if I could just place. But I, to be honest, this is a map I should be getting. I say map, a track. I should be getting first place in. Oh, my word. I do that thing. I think everyone does it. I think it's like a, a thing where like it's like you're looking at the thing you're trying to avoid and then by extension driving into it. I try and focus on like the the furthest point I can see that I want to drive to and accommodate to that. 
one of the problems with that is that there can just be a bit of debris on the road that really you either want to avoid or at least prepare for. But yeah, with um, rear wheel drives, uh, you know, you got that you got that power, the sound as well. I don't know if the sound is a bit, maybe a bit low for this, because usually when I'm playing, or often when I'm playing, I'll have Drew on Discord sort of, uh, what do you call it, like uh, navigating for me, like uh, like in, in rallies. Okay, so, ooh, and then a good break there. I mean, that, that bit's dirt, so difficult to keep traction there. Uh, right, if I just press the analog... I, I'm pe playing this, actually, if you can believe it. Oh, my word. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Okay, the nitro I find, actually, as a, as a technique, rather than just using it to fly down the straights... I often use it as a way to uh, gain a little bit of traction to like straighten up and stop myself fishtailing like I did just there. And um, I also use it if I've crashed or have, have gone too slow for whatever reason. Uh, I use that to like give me a, a boost to my acceleration. Or sometimes, you know, just to like lurch across the finish line. So we've got two people, Sally Taylor, who... I think Sally Taylor drives the, the, the other canyon. So what's that? That's a 115 on the lap. So I, I got the fastest lap, which is kind of cool. So there we go. Little cash bonus there. Little cash bonus there. So, so you can change. You can go to your garage and you can change. Right, yeah, so uh, let's go race. So we are now on the uh, Motor Raceway 1. Okay, so what I like about the tracks here... Sorry, I don't know if I finished my last thought. Uh, Rear-wheel drives, yeah, they, they're, they're a little bit more protected because the, the power in the engine and the traction comes from the rear two wheels. Um, the cars behind you when they try and knock you off the road... Uh, have a little less of a chance to do it. Whereas if you're a front-wheel drive... You, uh, with a front wheel drive, yeah, you're more susceptible because your wheels aren't sort of uh, transferring power to the road. I look forward to all of the corrections uh, down in in the, the comment sections here. And I, I mean, I'm serious. I'm not. Um, I'm not being snarky here. I like to learn. Oh shit! Oh, recovery, maybe. Okay. Now, I know from the Discord that there are a good number of people who also quite enjoy this game. So, if you happen to be in the Discord and you do fancy a multiplay, give, drop me a line. Because Drew loves competing in this. He is very good. Much, 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 much better than me. But he's got hundreds of hours in this game. Uh, also, by the way, you uh, are probably noticing that I'm playing with the music off. I turned the music off actually the first time I booted up the game. And... Uh, and I kind of like racing games without music. Oh, oh my word. Uh, it just seems to make sense. Okay. And actually, I've, I've taken to turning off background music in games a fair bit more lately. Uh, unless it, if it doesn't add anything, I turn it off. Uh, I don't sort of, especially with a lot of older games where they just run a song in the background. They don't, uh, they don't you know, blend it in with the atmosphere of the game. It's not an artistic addition. It's a, a noise, it's a silence filler, which you notice that a lot in society these days, don't you? There's a lot of, lot of music to fill the silence. And it's like, well, you know, maybe a little silence in our world is not too bad, you know? Why are we so scared of being alone with our thoughts? Since when did our thoughts become so scary? Sorry, didn't mean to get all philosophical on you there. Oh, that's what happens when I use my brain for something other than driving. Okay, that's a bad jump. I don't usually do that. I mean, it was a good jump, but like that was a risky jump. But I saw a flaming car. All right, someone's someone's nudged ahead of me. Oh my word! That was a high risk, high reward. Because I think that was Sally Taylor, and she is a major competitor. And she's going to be good on the off-road one. If she's on the, yeah, in that canyon. And there we go. 
Now, the Bullet GT is kind of known for being a car that's is quite difficult to drive, uh, or one for, for advanced races. So I'm I'm kind of using this video as a, as an opportunity to show off my, my skill whilst also whilst also commentating. So Okay. Now I'm gonna go race because we've got the off-road one now. So now is a good opportunity for me to demonstrate the canyon. I've got the red canyon and I've got the purple GT. They come in a whole bunch of colours, but I bought I don't know. That seemed like the nicest colour to me. Now, the Canyon is an absolute tank. It is heavy. It is steadfast. It's four-wheel drive, obviously. So, you can do a lot more stunts in this relatively safely. So. But it's also really quite fast. So, I would consider this... I, I mean, in some ways, I consider this the best car in the game. But the Bullet GT is the fastest, so... And the fastest car wins the race, so... But this is more reliable. Like with the Bullet GT, yeah, like I'll I'll have to reset more. I'll have to, you know, maybe restart a few races or something. Whereas with this, it's very predictable even on off-road conditions. And it just, yeah, see, there you go. Easy pit manoeuvre. Nothing can take you off the road. You take everything off the road. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hmm. I think it's Sally Taylor, isn't it? Oh, it's Sof no, it's, that was Sophia Martinez. Sorry. So she in the canyon? I didn't know she drove a canyon. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, you can see, you can see who's beneath me on there. Okay. Okay, I'm like relatively well ahead now. The I can oh, it's mine to lose. All right, Frank Malkov is wrecked. Yeah. To be honest, these cars are relatively hardy, so you've probably had a very bad race. I don't know if anyone at home is screaming because I've got a full nitro and I'm not using it. But look, I'm in. I'm ahead. There you go. Give me a little boost here and there. I don't know. I mean, help maintain a little bit of traction. Help me come out of a corner a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, someone's coming up behind me now. And what I... Oh, my word. Yeah. <laughs> right. Second place. I will still win the cup if I get second place here. Or I still plan on doing so. Let's uh, let's see if we can't nab ourselves a gold. Yeah, this this just is steadfast to the road though. Except of oh, rare fish tailing. But when you are fish tailing, which is when you flop around like a fish, you uh, it's easier to recover in four wheels. Never driven a four-wheel drive myself in real life, nor actually a rear-wheel drive, I don't think. Yeah. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should, uh... I don't know. Hire... Can you hire, hire muscle cars or something? I don't know. Okay. Oh! Yeah. Whoa, that was good. First place. It wasn't an easy first place, that one. They were really coming at me, and I don't have the fastest lap on this one. So, But first place, right? So I think at this stage now, I have to do something incredibly stupid to not... Look at that. 40 points to 21. So let's switch back into the bullet. Bullet GT, rather. And uh, let's go and finish up on this one here okay i do apologize for any uh problems with the sound but uh yeah like i'm not really thinking about it as you can tell oh my word 
Oh, I'm being very family friendly with my cursing today, aren't I? Okay. Oh, I, oh. The trick with this isn't to go too fast around the corners because the thing is, you just you know you just want to stay on because the straights. Oh. The straights are your friend. You don't need to worry about anything else other than staying on the road. You don't need to worry about jumps. You don't need to worry about nitro. You just need to worry about staying on the road. And then everything else will fall into place. There's, there's a bunch of stuff you can crash into on the right-hand side there. But yeah. Crashing into stuff is good, except the walls. And what I like is because so much of the environment is destruct... Destruct... Destructible? Yeah, destroyable. Uh... It makes it makes it so that you can go, you know, like it's not like it's I don't know, it's it's not the end of the world if you crash. In fact, it is a it is a it is a it is it is a good thing if you crash into stuff because then yeah, you get the nitro. And it looks fun and it feels fun and that's, you know. And I think one of the things about particularly with me in racing games is that it all just has to feel fun, you know? It's just it's scratching that very sort of like surface level itch, right? There's no storytelling, there's no no meaning to it other than it's just it's reflexes, isn't it? It's reflexes and and planning and strategy and but like when it comes together, that's that's what you're chasing that that feeling of satisfaction. It's the little little little, little imaginary trophies they give you. Oh, do I recover? Am I recovering? Oh, in fact, I'm pretty sure, like, I can get a DNF and I'd still win the cup. Let's not. Now, if you're in third place, this is actually a secret blessing because it means those one and two are going to be fighting it out. And there's a good chance they will take each other out. Is that Jack Benton? Yeah. Benton! Oh, so I, is that front wheel drive? Is that the insetter he's in? Mm. Oh my word, that was a good way to handle that corner. Oh, see, and one of the mo one of the frustrating things about this game, but justifiably so, is is that like when there's debris all over the road, like if you hit it wrong, if you hit it awkwardly, I can really trip you up. Right, and then just yeah, nitro coming out the corners. It really gives just gives you an edge over the over the others. And there we go. Okay, and there we go. Nice, relatively easy win, I think. Oh, and there we go. First place. There we go. Jack Benton did pretty well there. Considering I think he came last in another race. Uh, so there we go. We've got 5,000 for that. And what are we going to get to win the whole thing? So we got the bulldozer award. 500 uh, credits. Oh, there we go. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 50 points. Uh, and then there's Jack Jack Benton. Who, yeah, he didn't, yeah, like he didn't do great in the first one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so there's a joint, joint second. And then I guess Sally Taylor at fourth. Uh, okay. Oh no 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 no. Uh, yeah, do they? I don't. I don't know how they separate Jack Benton and Sophia Martinez, right? Uh, you know, maybe Jack Benson gets a bit of male privilege and he gets put into the second slot despite getting the same number of points as Sophia Martinez. Uh, okay. Anyway, actually, I think uh, yeah. Like when I've when I've had uh, joint scores uh, with other players, yeah, I think you both just win, which is kind of okay. Uh, so there we go. Five goals. No, nothing else. Uh, cup reward four thousand four hundred. It's not the most, but it wasn't the most difficult. Like you know, I could I could do something like the champion of champions one here. This one, although being the most difficult, is actually kind of a lot of fun. Um, so let me know if you do want to see that because I'm just going to do a quick video, really just as a get well soon present uh, for Drew, just to see how damn good I've become. So thank you very much for watching and um, get well soon, Drew. Toodaloo.